So the average American consumes roughly 3,600 calories a day. What's going on everyone? It's Asil Suede, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna be attempting the average American diet. So get this, not only does the average American consume 3,600 calories a day, but here's the macro breakdown of this. 50% of their calories are coming from carbohydrates, 35% are coming from fats, 15% is coming from protein. Look guys, I am going to be eating out for all three of my meals today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I wanna show you all what you can do to make better choices, because this is ridiculous. I mean, 15% total calorie intake is coming from protein, and you're eating 3,600 calories a day. I don't even eat 3,600 calories a day when I'm trying to bulk. What are you doing, bro? Look, if you enjoy this video and vlog, make sure you smash the like button on the video right now, and then let me know in the comment section down below what else you'd like to see in terms of challenges or things where I can help you out, because at the end of the day, I'm a type one diabetic, I've had diabetes for over 23 years now, and I wanna help you in a fun and entertaining way. Just change your lifestyle because again, this is ridiculous, it is unacceptable, but let's get started and eat some damn good food for the day. We're starting off the first meal of the day eating out at Jersey Mike's. I got a massive sub, so the average American diet, typically people like to eat out for the first meal. Look guys, I wanna show you all little tips throughout this video on how you can eat out and enjoy foods like this in a much healthier way. First of all, I got gluten-free bread because I'm an absolute sicko. Not only do I have diabetes, I also have celiac disease. What I like to do is just add simple vegetables and then double on the protein. So I got turkey and roast beef, minimal amounts of cheese. This cheese is what really bumps up the fat here. So what we're trying to do is like keep it higher carb, higher protein, and as low fat as possible. We got no dressings here, just a little bit of mustard because mayonnaise, they usually dump so much on top and add like an extra 300 calories. Look at this, around like 800 calories. If you were to get it in a typical average way, it's probably gonna be around like 15, 1600 calories. That's for the first meal of the day. It's just degenerate. Cheers, y'all. So we're moving on to the next meal of the day here at Chick-fil-A. Did not mean to make that rhyme, but anyways, what I got right now is just a gluten-free grilled chicken sandwich. Again, gluten-free because I have celiac disease. You can just get regular bread, but we also have an eight count of grilled chicken nuggets. Huge, huge tip here when you're ordering from Chick-fil-A or just in general, any kind of like sandwich spot like Chick-fil-A, which is super popular. Don't get the spicy fried chicken sandwich, which is like the most popular order here. That's about like 500 calories for one freaking sandwich. Get the grilled option. I mean, look at that. This has about like 30 grams of protein. It's gonna fill you up and it does really taste good. And then rather than getting the regular, you know, fried chicken nuggets, which everybody loves from Chick-fil-A, they have a grilled option, man. Huge tip here, guys. Get grilled over fried. Just ask wherever you're at. Do you have grilled? So anyways, I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna give this a go. See how it tastes. Wow, shocking, it tastes amazing. Okay, we're gonna give these grilled chicken nuggets a go. Honestly, I've had these in the past and they are so damn good. They really do fill you up and they're such a good little snack too. If you are trying to get something to pick you up in the middle of the day or if you need like a quick snack at work, I highly recommend you pick this up and like eat it throughout the day. So this is an extremely shocking thing that I want to show you all. It's really going to blow your mind here. The total macros and calories for this entire meal that's really going to fill you up is 430 calories. We got 44 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat, and 47 grams of protein. If you're going to get the regular fried version of these, it's going to be double the amount of calories and half the amount of protein. And here's what's really going to blow your mind. You see this Chick-fil-A sauce that everybody is obsessed with? Look at how many calories this has. Check it out. I looked this up on my fitness pal. The Chick-fil-A sauce has a 140 calories, six grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, and zero grams of protein. That is not okay. You can literally have three of these for this entire meal with zero grams of protein. So skip on the high fat sauces. I recommend just using mustard or ketchup. That's literally all you need, guys. One other huge tip here is to get an entree over a meal. The meal is gonna include the fries and you don't need an order of fries, okay? Just get the higher protein, higher carb, lower fat version of these foods and you're gonna be just fine eating out no matter what. All right guys, just quickly wanna let you all know, again, I wanna fill you all in when these happen so none of you all miss out and can stock up with the best deal possible. But my protein is currently having a 50% off sale with my code ACLVIP at checkout. I just wanna show you this specific product. Obviously, you know I like having a high protein snack. Now I love these protein chips and a lot of you all have been asking about them. They're one of my favorite snacks, only 120 calories with 14 grams of protein, which is absolutely insane. Make sure you check these out. I'll leave them linked in the description box down below. And just in general, I'm gonna leave a link that takes you to my favorite 
favorite supplements page where you can find all of this stuff for 50% off. Just make sure you plug in that code, a seal VIP at checkout. It's A-S-E-E-L VIP at checkout. Enjoy, happy shopping and happy savings, my friend. Make some gains. So I'm at the gym right now and because this video is showing you all how you can stay fit while eating out, I figured I'd show you all an amazing workout that burns a lot of calories while you're building muscle and it's super quick. Any of y'all can do this. It's a four by three by 10 by 60 workout. What that means is four exercises for three sets for 10 reps per set, 60 seconds rest between each set. We're gonna start off with the flat dumbbell bench press. Again, three sets at 10 reps here with 60 seconds rest between each set. <laughs> alternating curls make sure you're not being cocky with the weight here because remember we're only resting 60 seconds between each set so it's really gonna add up moving on to a tricep exercise what I'm gonna do next is dumbbell overhead extensions remember guys we're only resting 60 seconds between each set doing three sets at 10 reps this is really gonna kill and it's not gonna take that much time how much I'm sweating right now. It's not only because I live in Texas and it's like 100 degrees out, but 60 seconds rest between each set of 10 repetitions on weight training exercises will kick your ass. Give it a try. Finishing off with a machine pec fly. Again, three sets of 10 reps here. 60 freaking sets. 60 seconds rest, not sets. <laughs> Holy shit, we here all day. got done with the workout be sure to give that a try it's literally going to take you no more than 30 minutes again this is such a great way to not only burn a lot of calories but actually build muscle because we'll only focus on doing 10 reps but again really hustling here because we're only taking 60 seconds of rest between each set look you don't have to do a lot to not only burn calories in the gym but to see results you guys need my help man you need personal training you need workout plans you need me to construct you a meal plan even while you're eating out make sure you check my programs link in the description box down below i would love to help personally coach you i am there for you beyond just my videos. But anyways, let's go ahead and get out of here. So I'm at Panda Express for the final meal of the day and look at how much food this is. So what I did was get a bigger plate and hear me out here. This is gonna be a huge tip for you all trying to eat out at Chinese restaurants or something like Panda Express. So what I like to do is get the steamed white rice, which is in the back. So typically they'll have the fried rice out in the front. Skip out on that guys, do not get the fried rice. I know it tastes amazing, but it's literally gonna double the amount of calories in your meal. Fried rice is so high in fat and carbs, which is a huge no-no. We just get the steamed white rice, which you get for you in the back and then you get three little entrees to the side. What I did is get two orders of chicken breast and they give you a ton of chicken, man. Like typically Chinese restaurants or especially Panda Express just hook you up. I don't know, maybe it's a compliment because they saw it looks like I lift, even though not really because I'm natural. I got a shirt on, everybody knows. You look like you don't lift if you're actually natural. And then what I did is get the third side of vegetables. Check it out, the total macros and calories in this meal is 980 calories from 103 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat, and 79 grams of protein. That is a ton of protein for a meal you're eating out for takeout. What you can do to reduce the amount of carbs, by the way, is just to simply get half white rice and half vegetables if you want. But keep in mind, we're making low fat choices throughout the entire day. So you want to eat lower fat and higher carb or higher fat and lower carb. You don't want to do both. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. We're gonna give this a try. This looks so damn good. Gains. Mm. How many of y'all do you think I can use chopsticks? You know what? You learn something new every day. Look at that. I'm already pro. You know, the craziest thing about this meal is that it's $11. It is so budget friendly. I mean, in college, I used to do this all the time. That's why I really wanted to do this video and just show you all these tips. And I know there's so many of you guys, not just college students, but in general, if you work, you have to eat out a lot. So I knew this is gonna really help you out. And again, it's so unacceptable that the average American eats 3,600 calories a day, 15% coming from protein and 50% coming from carbs and 35% coming from fats. At least know how to do this the right way to live a healthy lifestyle, guys.
So I just got back home after a full day of eating out and I'll share with you all the total macros and calories after eating out for all three meals today, which consisted of 2,160 calories coming from 219 grams of carbs, 60 grams of fat, and 186 grams of protein. That means that 40% of the calories today came from carbs, 35% came from protein, and 25% came from fat, which is far better from the numbers that I shared with y'all earlier in this video, which is the average American diet. And honestly, I'm doing this video not only to help you all make better choices when you're eating out, because we just can't avoid eating out in this modern day. I found this article from Business Insider saying that not only was the average American consuming more than 3,600 calories a day, but that's a 24% increase from 1961 when the average was only 2,880 calories. So at the end of the day, man, I just want to show you all how you can make this healthy and fit lifestyle accustomed to no matter what you have to do, whether it's eating out or eating in. And if I can do it as a type one diabetic for over 23 years and accomplish what I have in the fitness industry, I promise anything is literally possible. Believe me. But look, if you enjoyed this video on a vlog, you want to see more eating out challenges, make sure you smash the like on this YouTube video right now. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.